welcome you all in the lecture so this uh, the topic of the uh, discussion is conformation and stability of cyclohexane so in this we will see the conformation of different forms of cyclohexane and we will also discuss about their stability different energy profiles and we will see how does the different forms of cyclohexane is having their different interactions as well so here if you see in the overall so here the discussion we will discuss here about the structure of the cyclohexane stability conformation and energy profiles conformation of cyclohexane chair both form and their difference what is the difference between chair and both form so starting from the cyclohexane we will see here what is the actual structure of cyclohexane so here if you see the conformation as per the free form which is also a bare or angle scale called the chair form and the boat form uh, respectively here if you see so this is a chair form and this looks like a boat is called boat form so the chair conformation of cyclohexane with axial and equatorial bond you can see here these a represents the axial bond with the substituted group but in case of if suppose we see only in case of cyclohexane where there is no substitution so there will be in these hydrogen will attach one will be lie along the axial position and other will be equatorial position so these changes can be happens by the flipping of the molecules so the molecule can flip from one form to another form so chair conformation of cyclohexane with axial and equatorial position can be seen from these two conformer of the cyclohexane so in this if you see the 3d structure or 3d arrangement of the atom so you will look at here these Uh, you can say this carbon these are representing the carbon of the cyclohexane and here if you see these are the hydrogen which is attached in different axial and equatorial position once you will put it into the chair form then you can look at how does you can arrange the hydrogen in uh, their equatorial and axial forms so similarly these white Uh, ball which is stick ball model so here you can see so once you can will allow to put it into this form which is like a chair forms then you can see there are different axial and equatorial hydrogen you can check out with respect to the discuss as per the structure of the cyclohexane so now you can uh, check here in a case of boat form so these boat forms can have a various other forms they can change from one form to another like twist boat form twist chair form and these boat and twist boat forms is looks like here so you can numbering as per here or if there is any substitution so you have to start the numbering from the substituted group so here like 1 2 3 4 and this is the fifth carbon and this one is the sixth carbon so similarly there are different twist form once this is like you can say this is the one uh, carbon another carbon another carbon this carbon this and this so these are having towards the hard line is representing towards the viewer side and these are on the plane so here you can make it in a different forms of cyclohexane like boat and twist form so now if you see the energy you know the potential energy graphs of the cyclohexane like chair form twist chair and twist boat form so here you can see how does their energy is getting to be changed from different forms like chair forms to twist boat and twist uh, you know twist chair and twist boat form which is representing this and boat form so this is the overall energy so you can say the highest energy is having uh, in case of uh, the example here as we seen above is twist chair so it means 
that is having very unstable very high energy it means that will show the unstability in the that particular form so now uh, you can also have some idea about if there is a smaller ring so there will be more strain so in case of like cyclopropane cyclobutane cyclopentane and cyclohexane so if you see the stability order so this cyclohexane is due to the uh, you know comparatively these rings are smaller with respect to this one so the bigger ring will have the lesser uh, you know lesser uh, energy so this will shows more stability so the stability order will come means this is the highest stable and then this and this and this will be the least stable so to optimize the bond angle most cyclohexanes are not flat in their most stable conformation cyclohexanes are less flexible than open chair alkanes and much less conformational freedom in cyclohexane so these are the way by which you can check their stability so if you say the types of uh, chemical strain because there are different kind of strain in the molecules depending upon even sometimes as per the different groups attached so those groups also affects their uh, you know stability of the molecule so strain when a molecule is less stable due to electron repulsion or when it is not in ideal geometry so angle strain bond angle deviates from the ideal bond angle like sp3 hybridized carbon like to bond at 19.5 degree so torsional strain is the resistance of the bond twisting eclipsing of bond on neighboring atoms steric strain so these are all are the types of strain we are discussing here so these will uh, you know uh, provide the instability to the molecule so most of these uh strains we have to be aware of that so that we can check the molecule whether it will be stable or not so the steric strain due to the repulsive interaction when atoms being too close together in close proximity if there are close proximity of the molecules or atoms then obviously there will be a steric strain so at least you should be aware of these basic uh, like tor uh, torsional strain uh, which is the resistance to bond to strain Uh, sometimes due to the angle so that creates the angle strain so these are the all comes under the heading like strain so ring strain result from the combination of angle strain torsional strain etc so ring strain means depends upon the type of ring is a like smaller ring bigger ring or how many carbon is in the ring like three carbon ring four carbon five and six as we see in the earlier example so these uh, ring strain is being created on the basis of those number of uh, carbon so if you see uh, like suppose cyclohexane is considered to have zero ring strain uh, its optimal conformation will be called like chair conformation so it is called why due to no angle strain angle uh, must be uh, you know uh, that should be at 109.5 degree the angle should be there and no torsional strain all adjacent of carbon hydrogen bond must be staggered and cyclohexane have another conformer uh, but the most stable conformation of cyclohexane is chair conformation so there these kind of all strain is minimized that's why that is the most stable so uh, you know uh, this is having a very little strain like here non bonded cyclohexane so there is no other substitution is there if you see these all are uh, the cyclohexane Uh, in their chair form uh, so you can also convert it into like a different projection like newman projection so in this if you see these are the equatorial uh, is representing the equatorial hydrogen uh, if you will put it here in a form of like this carbon is being put uh, like here this is representing this carbon and another carbon so that here you can put front carbon you know one will be the front carbon and another will be the rear and in between you can show these kind of molecule so this is the axial you know the axial hydrogen atom once you will uh, you can also change their different uh, you know uh, the conformation into the projection as we have already discussed in the earlier lecture uh, like how to uh, 
put in a different projection formula so similarly here you can also uh, see how we can put the cyclohexane in different conformation so chair cyclohexane has six axial hydrogens vertical to the plane of the ring and six hydrogen equatorial parallel to the plane of the ring so the chair conformation is stable because it eliminates angle strain uh, and r uh, which is uh, you know the angle is 109.5 degree and torsional strain all hydrogen on adjacent carbon atoms are staggered form so this is you can see here the different axial and equatorial position of the hydrogen which is represented by the different color here so in this way you can understand how the conformation of the cyclohexane is having their different conformation and they shows once it is having the minimum interaction or minimum strain among the atoms which is attached even if there is a angle if it is getting to be changed so then even the it will affect the stability of the overall molecule so here axial bonds you all might be aware of that these represent the axial bond and if you put the another hydrogen which is here you can see in this example so here this is uh, represent the axial hydrogen this is equatorial again axial equatorial so these are the axial equatorial bonds you can say with respect to this carbon to this hydrogen this carbon because the carbon is having ch2 this is the ch2 ch2 uh, you know uh, this is the old overall cyclohexane ring so these are arranged uh, in in this way so you can put according to this and these are these forms are interconvertible but the most stable which is will be having the minimum energy will be the most stable conformer now ring flipping of chair conformation ring flipping means from one specific arrangement of uh, the atoms if they are changing from axial to equatorial and equatorial to axial so this can be happens also when a cyclohexane rings undergo a chair chair conformation in case of chair conformation or which is called flipping or ring flipping uh, since this is happening in, in overall ring uh, which is the cyclohexane ring all of the bond that were axial becomes equatorial so what is happening here in ring flipping uh, the, these are just flipping in such a way so that the axial hydrogen is uh, in 3d space it is allocated or it is uh, aligned towards the equatorial positions so becomes equatorial and all bonds that were equatorial become axial so this is called ring flipping so by stick ball model you can also here in a black you know these are representing the carbon and this is axial hydrogen which is in red and the white hydrogen is representing the equatorial position so when the ring flipping will takes place in this kind of molecule so you can see how does it is converting from you can see here this is uh, exactly seen from this uh, model so this model represents that now these equatorial hydrogen is coming towards the axial position so they took the axial position so this is called ring flipping in a cyclohexane also uh, you can see here this kind of ring flipping is not possible like total the uh, rotation of the molecule like 180 degree you can see here so this kind of is not possible only it is the possible is they will move like this direction means this will flip towards this direction and this hydrogen will flip this chlorine if it is a mono substitution in case of mono substituted cyclohexane then this will be possible conformation of uh, once it uh, this ring is flipped otherwise this flipping is not uh, means this above example it is not possible in case of the substituted cyclohydrogen now coming to both conformation is uh, less already as we discussed have uh, considerably high energy than chair conformation uh, and it is due to all hydrogen in the chair conformation are staggered while four hydrogen are eclipsed in both uh, conformation so it causes torsional strain so that's why uh, this is having the instability or compared to the chair form so two of the axial hydrogen become flagpole hydrogen at c4 and 
uh, C1 position because black hole interaction, which is uh, in general uh, rather than uh, pronouncing the black hole, it is overall we can say steric uh, strain is there. So that's why uh, that board conformation is less stable uh, due to the higher energy with respect to the chair conformer. So here you can see the board form. Uh, it is the put the name due to it looks like the board if you see. So this is the name has been and it uh, the chair form it looks like a chair. So that's why that is said to be conformer a different conformer of the arrangement of the atoms in a molecule of the cyclohexane. So here board, board conformation you can cha change it into the Newman projection. So once you will put into the Newman projection like you have to you know uh, like this carbon uh, you can put like a front carbon if suppose you are putting this one as a front carbon this is the back carbon so here you can say front carbon back carbon and these uh, carbon this this carbon uh, you can see here these are representing over here and here if you see so similarly this is another carbon and this is another carbon so you have to put the axial axial hydrogen because this is the axial hydrogen with respect to the front carbon and this is the axial position with respect to the another carbon. So by this way you can uh, plot or you can convert it into the Newman projection and here then you can say uh, there are you know uh, different kind of interaction uh, will be there. So that's why uh, that will be uh, one for you can say uh, one for uh, you know uh, kind of uh, interaction will be there. So due to that uh, it will be uh, it will be lesser stable compared to here you can say in a simple way uh, black hole interaction or static uh, uh, strain so that is uh, provides the instability to the molecules now the chair conformation is much more rigid than the board conformation the board conformation is quite flexible by flexing to a new form the twist conformation the board conformation can relax some of its torsional strain and at the same time reduce the black hole interaction. The twist board conformation has lower energy than the pure board conformation but is not as stable as the their conformation. So here if you see the greater stability of chair is more than 99% of the molecule are estimated to be in chair conformation because if suppose any molecules you are assuming with their different conformations so obviously which will be the most stable. So that particular kind of molecule either it's a substituted molecule or any of the molecules which is formed in such kind of molecule like cyclohexane in any of the reaction in organic reaction and many more synthesis. So that will be more stable form will be uh, expected which is about more than uh, you know 99% is uh, chair conformer. So here twist conformation of cyclohexane as uh, you can see here how does the different uh, a group uh, or here in case of cyclohexane if we say without any uh, substitution so how does these are aligned uh, in case of twist uh, uh, both form of the cyclohexane so you can look at here so these are representing towards the uh, the viewer side so this is like thick side is being shown here so by this way you can visualize the molecules to understanding the different energy profiles uh, of the different forms because once you have the idea about this uh, uh, this uh, profile uh, energy profile diagram then obviously this would be a quite easy to understand which forms will be more stable because there are number of questions uh, can be raised from by visualizing this uh, you know uh, this uh, energy profile diagram so on the basis of that uh, this diagram uh, you can uh, you can have a much more idea about how to put their stability order, uh, which form will be more stable, which form will be uh, having a less stable and uh, there because the, the performance because the performance in sense of the different kind of reaction because which reaction will be will be expected in a more uh, better way uh, this this energy profile decides it. Since uh, this is the overall uh, once we if you see the discussion which we had made uh, with respect to cyclohexane. So this helps very much to understand it. So here uh, you know this is the relative energy kilojoule per mole. So here the chair form 
uh, you can see here which is having the least energy uh, with respect to the energy as per the energy profile diagram or having least energy due to there is a minimum strain in this kind of uh, conformation that is why it is having the highest stability so this is shown here if you see in the graph it is shown at the least energy here in the energy profile diagram when it change from their conformation to half chair uh, because this is the atoms or molecules will uh, carbon or carbon if they arrange in half chair conformer then you can see this is the most highest energy is having here so this is having the very high energy in half chair form which is around 45.2 kilojoule per mole so this is the most you can say this is the highly unstable with respect to this because this is having the highest energy means obviously this will be the least stable so another twist once it changed to the twist boat form then this twist boat form is having 23 kilojoule per mole so if it is having also higher energy so when you compare this molecule or this conformation uh, with the chair form so obviously this is unstable so the in stability order if you have a three different forms is given uh, for the sake of questions so you can easily uh, can uh, get the correlation between which form is more stable so here now you can see the boat form so boat form is having because this is due to the different kind of strain which we had already discussed uh, due to those strain uh, this provides uh, the unstability to the molecule since here the energy if you see the relative uh, energy uh, in kilojoule if you see because here we had uh, taken as chair conformation as the energy is zero because we have taken the reference as this so chair conformation uh, with respect to that if you see the energy of the boat form of the cyclohexane then you will see it is having 30 kilojoule per mole uh, and now coming to change this because you have to change these all forms you can make these you can draw these forms and then you can see uh, with the different interactions like one core interaction in case of like here one uh, in case of boat form so the twist boat you can see it is like a twisted structure so in twist structure it is having also higher energy uh, but in compared to the boat form it is having the lesser energy so with respect to if we compare this so this will be having the less stable compared to this so another you can change it also half chair form so again it is coming to back what we discussed here like the previous half chair form so these half chair forms both here if you can see having the same energy because this is now converting uh, this conformation towards the chair conformer so once it will comes to again in a chair conformation so then their energy will be very minimal so now from watching this overall uh, graph you can easily uh, can uh, find out your answer uh, which forms will be more stable and which forms will be having the least stable so from this profile diagram energy profile diagram or this energy graph you can easily say that the chair conformation will be the having the least energy so it will be the most stable and half chair form is having highest energy and it will be the least stable so now the if you change the different form so here you can see chair will be the highest stability and after that if you see here the twist form so twist form will be then more stable and then your you see board form and then the last stability uh, stability is in case of half chair form so in this order you can arrange the different conformer and you can make either the increasing order of their stability or decreasing order of their stability similarly you can also make the correlation the increasing order of the energy and decreasing order of energy of the different conformer so this uh, is if you understood the basic concept then you can easily plot this graph which is very very important with respect to to understand the stability of the uh, uh, different conformer of cyclohexane
so now it is very important uh, we, what could be the difference and how we can uh, differentiate between chair conformation and board conformation because the in between there are different other forms is also possible but the major uh, which is uh, very important here is chair conformation and board conformation so here if you see the chair all bonds are staggered and therefore no torsional strain and all bond angles are near to 109.5 degree so no angle strain is there so it has also very less or very little steric hindrance or steric strain now if you see in case of the port conformation because these are the all properties which is showing by the chair conformation is supports to stabilize the molecule in a more better way so that's why they are conformer in a more stable so in as we previous uh, slide if you remember we also said that this is mostly the 99% is possibility the cyclohexene is exist in uh, the uh, chair form so if you see the torsional strain here in case of board conformer so this is quite high so c2 c3 and c5 c6 are eclipsed you know uh, if you see the cyclohexene structure in case of board conformer so these are in eclipsed form so all bond angle are near to 109.5 so no angle strain however high steric uh, strain is due to 2 xgl14 hydrogen atom flag pole interaction is there so you can say one pole uh, interaction is there so that is why uh, this shows more instability in the that particular board conformer once we talking about the cyclohexene so by this way by keeping certain points because the torsional strain is also very high you have to keep in mind and there is eclipse due to the eclipse conformer at uh, arrangement in 2 c2 or c3 or c5 6 and all bond angles are however 100 uh, near to this uh, 9.5 degree but there is high steric strain due to that which is due to the 14 hydrogen atom or you can say the uh, flag pole interaction or steric interaction or steric strain so uh, this uh, board conformer is uh, having less stability with respect to the chair conformation so even though you can differentiate by taking the help of the energy profile diagram how the structure is getting to be uh, you know Uh, in a various twisted form and having a very high strain in that particular conformation and so other forms you can also convert and similarly you can differentiate their half chair and chair conformer and you can have the other twist form uh, you can differentiate so now uh, you know overall if you uh, see uh, for the Uh, lecture we discuss about the cyclohexenes is uh, different structure in in terms of conformation uh, stability we have seen which form uh, and why that particular conformer is more stable there if you remember their conformation is very important and we seen the stability graph energy profile graph which is called and in energy profile graph if you see Uh, that is the overall picture of the cyclohexene and their different conformer so one by one if you see in details uh, those conformal structure uh, of the cyclohexene then you can easily uh, find out which conformer will be more stable and what would be the reason behind that since there are different kind of steric strain as we study Uh, under the heading strain so those strains are have plays a very important role because if there are certain kind of strain is there so that the molecule will be less stable if the more the strain will be uh, it uh, represents the molecule will have uh, less interaction uh, or you know they are repulsive type of interaction so they will unstabilize the molecule so chair form and board form difference we have also seen but in case of some of the substituted molecule if 
like a there are certain interaction like one four or one three interaction if it is having certain kind of groups which helps to stabilize the overall molecule then in that case those interactions helps to stabilize the molecule uh, better way so uh, this overall uh, lecture has been prepared with the help of various online contents different sites source and different books so this material which is presented in this lecture has been taken from you know different sources so this instruction material is for only uh, instructional purpose uh, so here uh, you can refer these references as well for your study so thank you so much for watching this video and listening this video lecture Thank you so much.